this is uh, going on. And some process also of disciplining the culprits is going on. So um, the full analysis of the results will be available. But I want to answer a question before you ask me. Are we going to rank the schools and the candidates? Parliament passed an amendment to the Kenya National Examinations Council Act, which requires us to uh, rank the schools uh, in the order of uh, a system we will have to determine through research, consultation, and then we are required to prepare regulations because that is subsidiary legislation. We have to send them to Parliament before we can have a system based upon which we can rank. And this amendment was passed in October. It was too late for us to put together a system. I have reached out to civil society, I have reached out to all actors in the sector, so that we begin working to fulfill the requirements of that law. Because uh, there is no basis upon which we can do ranking if we have not done what the statute prescribed when it was amended. So you will receive all your results. We haven't done that. Uh, ranking. But I needed to point one thing. If we were ranking this year's top candidate with 436 marks, he will not make it among us the top 90 in 2015. Uh, because of what you and I know. But anyway, I want you to take it to the bank. That's where Professor Magua says we should take the truth. Um, this is probably the cleanest possible result uh, you can uh, hope to get. But there are two things I want to say. We have noticed several centers. Um, you know, this game has been going on for a long time, but uh, I will tell you firmly what is going to happen. Some private schools have been registering two centers in one school. I called in the Kenya